she's buying this expensive cereal. She goes and gets it by the package and uh, takes it to, she says, I have to do this, take it to work and all that stuff. And I said, Linda, Linda, you can just go to the Bolton's and make your own cereal for so cheap. And so here we are now, I, I have Linda as a captive audience and I get to um, do it. This, basically what we're gonna do today is burka muesli, Swiss burka muesli, but except instead of Swiss burka muesli, it's gonna be homemade burka muesli because we're going to do it right here at home. And you can see here I am with my paper bags from the bulk bins. And in this one, let's see, what do I have in there? Okay, that looks, that looks like this stuff called Kamut, K-A-M-U-T. First time I've ever tried it, and I just have my bill of sale here. And Kamut, you can see I got this whole bag for $4.50. So we've got a little Kamut. Now what's this? Oh, this is good old, hey, you recognize that. That's good old rolled oats. So some ro oats in there. Oats, oats, oats. And $1.74 for that thing of oats. So basically we're, we're um, on the cheap here. And then this, this other stuff, I haven't even used this before, but I thought it looked interesting. It's called triticale flakes, and that was $2.63. So what we've got going here is a nice blend of some different flakes. And, and the signs at the bulk bin at the co-op where I got this uh, talked about how they were high in protein and and this and that. And of course everything's organic, which means there's no GMO either, hopefully. What I did here was I ground some flax meal that I also picked up in the handy dandy bulk bins. You can see my grinder is a little worse for the wear, but it's okay. It still grinds some beautiful flax meal. And I'm not making too large a batch because I guess flax meal is pretty pretty um, uh, sensitive and you know will you lose its umph? I don't know there's a thousand different things out there but you can see how when you stir a little bit of powdery stuff in with the flakes instead of just a bunch of raw oats now you have kind of a cereal cereal cereally looking thing and we can even help that by if I had some wheat germ I'd put some in I don't happen to have it today but put a few sesame seeds in Maybe a little coconut. See, now we're starting, we, we started basically with a, a plain Jane foundation, and now we're building some interest here. And then, in go some raisins to help the cause. You know, you can be eating along and eating your oats, and you chomp down on a raisin here and there, and all of a sudden, you're rather pleased with the party. Ditto with some nuts. And I have some hazelnuts here. I didn't even toast them. I'm not chopping them. I'm in a hurry. We're hungry. I'm not going to put that many in either because just a, a little interest now and then. We have Swiss burka muesli. Time to eat some breakfast. Breakfast time. Breakfast time. So in we go, we put some of our plain Jane muesli in there, oops, two mueslis in there. And then, how are we going to doll these babies up? Of course, we could do the milk and um, the sugar routine, I don't want to do that. I have some frozen grapes, I know Linda likes frozen grapes. And I do too, because they are um, right from my vines outside, so they're very affordable. Um, now here's, here's what I go for next. I go for some garbanzo beans. Linda, can you go for garbanzo beans in your cereal bowl? See, that's why, I like, that's why I like to feed Linda. She's not gonna freak out about garbanzo beans. I had the dutiful pitcher of milk here. I want credit for that. I had the picture of milk here in case Linda had to have it, but 
She says, nope, she's cool. So now I'll show her then since she's willing how it really rocks and rolls. Next comes a little bit of chili and some lime. Oops, I forgot the cinnamon. A little cinnamon. And also, because I just love the smell when I do the, the nutmeg. Oops, I got another one here. They're forever slipping. This is a fresh one. You can see when it's fresh, you have to kind of start it slow. And one thing you have to do when, you remember, when you're working with the nutmeg is um, take a whiff because it's certainly lovely. The, the lime, and it's just hard to get too much lime because it is what's going to make this cereal pop. So if Linda's doing this at work, of course, or anybody else, uh, they wouldn't mess with all the, all everything, but you could at least have the, the burka muesli. So, the only thing that I'm, I'm looking at here is that it's not so pretty now, because I should have put the beans on first. So what I'm gonna do to salvage it, is what cooks have done forever and ever. A little bit of garnish. Get a little garnish going over the top and and you can get by with almost anything. <laughs> and the coconut and maybe you know a little black. See how how the black helps that and because Linda and I both like a lot of chili then a little bit more chili. Okay we're ready to eat. Boy, I'm